hello everyone in this video i have continued from where i have left in the previous part of the messing tutorial the link to the part one is given in the description box in this tutorial i have created these openings and then added the glass and the mullions but before we continue i ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more rabbit tutorials also if you have any query or suggestion you can tell me anytime so now let's start this is where i have left in the previous video double click on it to enter the messing mode after that go to level 1 floor plan hide these uh, messing parts so that it is more easy to work on it now i am going to mark uh, uh, those places in this plan where i have to place the windows and the openings has shown in this video After I have placed reference planes where I want to have the optics, I am going to add these reference lines and with and I am going to make a rectangle with their help like this. In the similar manner, 
add these uh, uh, reference lines and make rectangles in the other part of the design as well after you have arranged them go to the 3d slightly rotate it so that the rectangle is visible then select it and then click on this avoid form but unfortunately it has created an uh, opening in the other form as well so I'm going for that I'm going to set the reference plane to this vertical side then open this viewer window and draw a shape with the help of the reference lines as shown in the video Now select and click on create the void form then click on it and give it an offset a positive offset of 8 feet and negative offset of 0 feet as you can see as you have seen in the uh, previously in the start of the video that I have created all of these openings in 8 feet in depth sorry 8 feet in width and now you can see that the opening has not been created in the other part of the building Now one by one select a rectangle, click on void form, then click here, drag this blue arrow upwards to increase the uh, value in along the z-axis and in this way a void and opening has been created in these mass forms.
and now you can see that I have created openings in all of the all of those parts of the building at which I have marked in the ground floor okay now I have to close I need to close these parts they should not be open so what you need to do is select a line like one minute I will just show you move here select this line then move the mouse here and select this line with the help of the tab button on keyboard and for multiple selection press control button on the keyboard and then click on create form then select this form and provide the material to it and in this similar manner uh, uh, close all of these edges and sides so that they should not so that they are not open after create, uh, completing this task select this line then select this line and then click on create form Repeat this process on all of the openings. After completing this task, click on Finish Mess. Then go to Messing and Side tab click on this curtain system and then select these messes one by one after that click on create system and you can see how easily uh, mullions and glass have been placed on, on this area select them then click on edit type and in this dialog box you can adjust the dimensions of the glass panels and the mullions and you can also change the shapes of the uh, mullions in both the uh, horizontal and the vertical direction and you can also uh, change the type of the mullion you can either enter a circular mullion or a rectangular mullion you can change its dimensions all that from this dialog box you can also use this method to add some other sort of materials within this uh, mass form and you can see how easy it is to do that in the next video i will i will continue from here and i am going to add some uh, more elements more detailed elements of this building so that you know how to create a detailed component with the help of the detailed building with the help of massing in revit
i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe